Good morning, Riley. I'm very happy to be your guest reader today. Um, originally, I was planning to do a treasure hunt with you, um, but I think I'll save that for the next time because um, this is kind of a special week for me um, and my fourth graders because we are actually supposed to be on our big lesson at Lincoln Brick Park. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to take my fourth graders this year, so that is definitely a sad thing for Miss Bailey and I. Um, so I'm kind of dedicating this book to you guys. I wanted to read it to you before we left um, because its message is um, the stories that buildings can tell even when no one is in them any longer. And Lincoln Brick um, has some remnants of an old brick factory that um, the fourth graders love to sit and write and think about um, some of the things that happened there. So this book is for you. I wish I could be there with you today. I hope you enjoy it. A House That Once Was by Julie. Pogliano, illustrated by Lane Smith. Deep in the woods is a house, just a house, that once was, but now isn't, a home. At the top of a hill sits the house that is leaning, a house that once wasn't, but now it is peeling, a house that once was painted blue. Tiptoe creep up the path up the path that is hiding, a path that once welcomed, a path that is winding, a path that's now covered in weeds. At the front of the house, the house that is waiting, there's a door that's not really open, but barely, a door that is closed, but not quite, a door that is stuck between coming and going, a door that was once painted white. Off to the side, there's a window that's watching, a window that once opened wide, a window that now has no window at all, a window that says, climb inside. Inside the house, it is silent but creaking. We're whispering mostly, but not really speaking. We whisper, though no one would mind if we didn't. The someone who once was is someone who isn't. The someone who once was is gone. Who was this someone who ate beans for dinner? Who sat by the spire? Who looked in the mirror? Who was this someone whose books have been waiting? Whose bed is still made? Whose pictures are fading? Who was this someone who walked down this hallway? Who cooked in this kitchen? Who napped in this chair? Who was this someone who left without packing? Someone who's gone, but is still everywhere. Was it a man with a big beard and glasses who would look out the window and dream of the sea? Or a woman who painted all day in a garden portraits of squirrels while sipping iced tea? Was there a cat who would sleep by the fire or a girl who would twirl to her records and sing? A boy who built planes and dreamed nightly of flying a baby, a cowboy, a king or a queen. Why did they leave here and where were they going? Did they run off and not say goodbye? Were they shipwrecked and now live on an island wearing coconut clothes with a pineapple tie? Or maybe they took off and headed to Paris where they paint by the river and eat lots of cheese. Or what if they're lost? and they're wandering lonely. Maybe they can't find their set of house keys. And maybe the house is still waiting there for them, waiting to hear their key turn in the door, waiting for voices to bounce down the hallway, waiting for someone to come sweep the floor. Or maybe it just loves to sit and remember stories of someone who will never know and maybe it likes it out there in the forest with the trees coming in where the roof used to go. So back through the window, we climb as we want, wander, back down the path that is tangled with thorns. Back to a house where our dinner is waiting, back to a home that is cozy and warm. Deep in that woods 
is a house, just a house that once was, but now isn't a home. And that's the end. So to all my fourth graders who have been on big lessons with me before, and all the Riley students who will one day be my fourth graders and get to go on a big lesson with me. I hope you enjoyed the story, um, my fourth graders this year. Um, Mrs. Ely and I are going to find some way, hopefully, that we can visit Lincoln Park at least once together and make those memories too. Have a wonderful afternoon.